Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. I worked a lot last year. I made 22 videos on this channel and 13 exclusive Patreon videos. I planned and I worked and I worked and I worked some more. And after posting the last video for the year on the 25th of December, just before I was about to have my Christmas dinner, I had my first break. Life is very unpredictable. Deadlines move, opportunities pop up, and sometimes you say yes to too much stuff. In that moment, thinking it'll all be fine and you can totally fit it in. I had to drop a few videos and push back some others. And although I'm really happy with the videos I made last year, I don't want to burn out. I can feel it, it's getting closer, but I'm doing my best to sort that out before it becomes a real problem. So like I do every year, I'm setting some realistic goals that I think will help me not overwork myself and make me hate everything by the end of the year. Firstly, I'm actually going to take the time to look after myself properly. Resting more, exercising and stretching before, during and after long drawing sessions. So far, I've been using timers to help myself grab a drink, stretch and make time for lunch, which is going well so far. Next, no more doom scrolling on my phone before bed or before I get up in the morning. I switch this to reading, which can be a problem in itself when the book is good. And I think just one more page and then I'll stop only to realize I'm up way later than I thought, but at least my screen time is down. Next on my list, and I know I've been saying this one for a while now too, is I'm going to be trying something new. This might be a pottery class, embroidery, I might try making my own clothes. I spend most of my days looking like this because the UK is absolutely freezing right now and the cost of gas and electric is disgusting. But I do have a list of non-animation things I want to try too. So who knows what I'll pick, but I will make time for that this year. Something else that I'm interested in is writing. I used to do this a lot in school and college. I'm looking into making a short film with a friend and of course it'd help improve my video scripts. So I've been taking the right powerful short fiction learning path on Skillshare because researching and figuring out my own path is fun, but sometimes I don't want to look. I just want the answers and for someone else to give me a prompt or an assignment. And that is just what I need. Having the structure of a class works well with my learning style and takes the weight off of figuring out how to start, which can be the absolute worst. So far, I'm really enjoying the classes. They're from teachers that I haven't seen before and the quality has been really good as well. I've been working through these classes when I hit a bit of a roadblock with my other projects and it gives me something else to focus on and come back feeling refreshed. There are other learning paths that I was interested in too, like the art licensing and graphic design, but I'm starting off with one for now and we'll see how I go for the rest of the year. If you like to try a learning path on Skillshare with handpicked courses from beginner to professional, the first 500 people to use my link will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Now my other work-based goals are to be more efficient and consistent. I posted almost every month on YouTube, sometimes twice a month. I think the every other week posting schedule, which I kept up for a while, was really satisfying. And there was a brief, very, very brief time when I was ahead of schedule and I had videos finished and ready to go for the following month. It was the most amazing feeling. Uh, I've never had that before and I want to put that into practice for this year. So far, the plan is to make one tutorial per month, but if I've got a shorter video, depending on my schedule, I could push it to two. Obviously, if there's a particular topic or video format that you like and want to see more from me, please let me know in the comments. It does help me narrow down my very long list of videos that I want to make, but I want to be sure that you're interested in those too. At the moment, my focus is animation tutorials and walkthroughs, maybe the occasional vlog style video for a bit of variety, like a week in my life or a five tips advice video as I've done before. Honestly, a few years ago, this list would be three times as long. So if I somehow manage to complete all of them before the year is up, I might add a few more, but for now, I think this is enough. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be back with another video real soon. Bye.